Okay, so I built a scene here and we're kind of rendering bits out from it and that's all great. Sometimes you want to look at some assets in particular, like a hero prop, say something like this stool, and um, you want to be able to take the prop out, separate out the background, but you still want to have all the lighting that goes with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it seems like that would be something that would be quite difficult to do. Although it actually isn't. It's, it's relatively straightforward. So that's what we're going to cover in this. So say this is the object that I want to take out. And I've got the lighting and everything set up how I want. But I just want this and I want the rest of it alphaed out. I just select it. And if I go into its uh, details. If I just do a search for depth. Then you get this render custom depth pass. If I click on this. Then essentially, it, that's what it's going to do. It's going to render a custom depth pass based on the fact that it want, we want to see this and we don't want to see the other stuff. Now, how we access that is the same way through the um, through the high resolution screenshot. So, if I click on this, um, there's a little tick here, the box we can tick here called "Use Custom de Depth as Mask." So, here we go. Render custom depth pass, and we're going to use that custom depth pass as a mask. So, if I click that on, and we get green screen. Uh, which is awesome. So we can uh, just render that out. So if I render that out as maybe three times the size the way we did before, and, and hopefully, and cross the fingers and hope it won't crash, then we're going to get a screenshot. And if I click on this, you'll see this. It looks like it has this white background on it, but it basically is. Um, uh, this this is actually alpha out. So if we open this up in Potato Shop, hold all of that's in, drag it in. There you go. You can see we've got a, a our stool and it's alpha out. So we could drop it into our presentation layer. So say we had a new thing here. Say this is our thing that we're going to do. Then we're just going to take our screenshot and control A to, to copy it. It in that big, scale it down, you know, and that's the beginnings of our thing rendered out. And we could put a nice solid behind it and some text, and we could do some more screenshots of bits and bobs, and yeah, it will work out fine.